out there and get a win. That's one of our prime Who reminded you of uh, The coaches, all of them, uh, especially Coach Bow. Uh, was anything specific said? I mean, or anything poignant that you can remember that you can share with us? Um, just go out there and play with an attitude. Um, play with the chip on your shoulder like you've been all year. Um, we'll be in good shape. Were there other times that you made that read you. and not gotten back on that offensive rebound? Or was that just something that you felt was minor sometimes? It was just, I don't know, it was just that in the instant. I really, that's really the, the only time I go to the glass. I went one time yesterday. So, um, so once yesterday, once today, and once yeah. today, I think Maybe you should be going to the glass more often then. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we had a tough non-conference schedule. We played some really great teams. It really forced us to stay together. And, uh, the past couple games, we've been winning uh, really close games. And we're a young team, so that really speaks to our maturity. How do you guys extend the uh, we're going to rest our bodies a lot today. So, for the rest of the day, watch film, watch the game right here. Great. Well, we'll Great. Yeah. 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 Did he grab on the last one? Did he just lose the ball? Or did you see somebody yeah, hit it? Or I really don't know. I think he just lost it. Yeah. Trey uh, gave you a little shout out on Twitter uh, after the game. Um, you talked about it a little bit at the podium, but what does this mean to you personally to, to beat Ohio State in, in the tournament? It means a lot. I mean, I'm from Columbus, played a state championship game in their in their arena, so it just means a lot to play well and get the win in a big stage like this. <laughs> Well, Michigan State or Wisconsin, they're both great teams. Um, they're both really capable of winning a lot of games with the top teams from the country, so we've got to come up and play. Karis, can you tell me about deploying the 2-3 for a minute there in the, in the second half? What prompted that move, and, and has, is that something you guys really worked on much this year? Yeah, we work on that as much as we work on our 1-3-1. One, one. Oh, really? So, yeah, but we're, I don't, we're not really as comfortable in the 2-3 as we are on the 1-3-1. One, one. Uh, it really helped us today. Karis, the three points you used earlier on, were you guys just in the space? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't really particularly shoot the ball in yesterday. Uh, we knew we were due for a big day. Uh, we're, we have a lot of people capable of really knocking down shots. And, um, we, we came out early um, knocking down a lot of shots. It was really hard. Why is it, do you think, in both halves, you guys came out and were shooting really hot for the first few minutes, and then sort of the game settled down and all that? Is that just Ohio State's defense, or what do you think? Uh, it's probably Ohio State's defense. They got one of the best defenses in the country. And, um, with Kraft, uh, Scott, Smith, um, Thompson, they're all great, long defenders, so uh, they really force a lot of turnovers. Thanks, Gary.